When Ro did something when she was two, it'll scare me uh, regarding what she's capable of for the rest of her life. When she was two years old, she was way into binkies. Like some kids are really into binkies. And if you don't have kids, a binky is just a pacifier. But what it really is, is baby smoke. <laughs> like a baby cigarette, you know, baby vape pen. <laughs> some kids are addicted to binkies. And that was Monroe. You know, and that's a good analogy, smoking actually. Because if you've ever seen like a chain smoker not get to smoke for several hours, it's very similar to a kid who loves binkies not getting a binky for a couple hours. <laughs> right, they get real negative, real pessimistic, real frustrated. Then they get that first, you know, drag of the cigarette and their whole, butt, their shoulders relax. You know, they get a lot more positive, easier to deal with. Same thing with Monroe. No binky, just angry all the time. Just, no, I'm not tired! No! No, I'm not tired! No, you don't know! You don't... I'm gonna go lay down, sorry about that. Very reasonable all of a sudden. <laughs> and her daycare had a no binky policy when you turned two years old, right? So you turn two, you know, no more binkies at all. Uh, when, when Monroe was about to turn two, she was so into binkies that to go to sleep at night, she needed one in her mouth, one in each hand, 10 to 15 more scattered around her crib. <laughs> Just a little binky queen living in a binky paradise. That was the only way we could get sleep, you know? Because if she flailed and dropped one, there was a chance she'd hit one in like two or three kind of throws. And they expected that level of junkie to go cold turkey in one day. Very unreasonable. A couple weeks after the ban, they catch her sneaking in a bink into daycare. And I love how they caught her. They said she kept going to the same corner. She'd be cool for like the first hour. And then when she thought they were distracted, she would just walk over to like the darkest corner of daycare, use her body as a shield, she would take the binky out of her pocket, take a couple hits, put it back. <laughs> All casual. Hey. <laughs> hey guys, you might want to dust that eventually. I don't know. Just checking things out. So then to make sure she doesn't keep sneaking binks into daycare, they start giving her full body pat downs. <laughs> Every other kid gets to walk in, right? She gets the full, like she's a little felon trying to sneak a bink or a shiv or something into the reading room. This embarrasses her grandpa. Her mom's dad was taking her to daycare at this time, and he didn't like seeing her get like a little pat down. So he offers to start patting her down at home before she goes to daycare, uh, so she can avoid that. But for a while, they, they were giving her pat downs in two places, you know, at home and at daycare. During the two pat down period, she still sneaks in a bink. <laughs> this is what scares me about what she's given, the planning and manipulation that went into this at two years old. She must have uh, figured out that Pop-Pop always got her ready for, for daycare by the front door, same location. So in anticipation of that, she hid a bink by the front door, right? Let him get her all ready. And then she would cup the binky in her hand and be like, hug Pop-Pop, hug Pop-Pop. You know, he just thought she was being extra sweet. No, she didn't care about him. <laughs> she needed to get close. She just pretended to be affectionate to give him a fake hug, which was just an excuse to drop the binky into his front shirt pocket, because he always wore shirts with pockets and then let him unknowingly transport it to daycare. <laughs> Just an accessory to some kind of toddler felony. <laughs> and when Pop-Pop, you know, would, would get the uh, contraband through customs, <laughs> as she's getting her second pat down, then as soon as she was done with that pat down, she'd hug Pop-Pop, hug Pop-Pop. Just an excuse to get close again, take the binky back out of his pocket, put it back into her pocket, and then strut like a champion back into daycare. <laughs> Pretty incredible at two. And they still took it from her, which I thought was the wrong message. I felt like she earned it after all that. <laughs> if I'm working at that daycare, she keeps that binky for two reasons. One, respect for what she's already done. And two, fear of what she may do next. <laughs> How far is she willing to go?